What would you tell the February version of yourself to get you through what was about to happen? That's a very interesting question because I like a lot of sci-fi fantasy movies. <laughs> to be more prepared to do more online than anything else. America has always been associated with making it, but is this opportunity accessible to all? Atlanta was built to include everyone, but so many people are still being left behind. I'm Scott Shigeoka, GoDaddy's entrepreneur in residence, and I'm on a journey across the country meeting the people who are building it. I want to break that stereotype. I want to see this through for the sake of my family. They're defying the odds, and their stories show us what it means to be made in America. I think gone are the days of like the shark mentality in entrepreneurship. In fact, entrepreneurship and small businesses can be seen as a community effort. It can be seen as a collaborative effort where we work to support each other. I think that's what the pandemic is showing us, that we are so much stronger when we have a community that we can grow alongside of. And that's what I've seen in Atlanta. Atlanta is a city of opportunity, but it's also a city of economic and racial disparity. And it takes a community effort to bridge that divide. It takes working together and looking forward. And both Yolanda and the Robinsons are in this moment of growth. They're both pushing their plans forward despite all of the obstacles and enlisting their community to help them succeed. You know, so much of what it means to be an entrepreneur is to see the fear, to acknowledge it, and then to be courageous and walk through it. I am so excited. It's such an exciting moment. Today we are finally opening the Oasis. Yes. You've worked yeah. so hard. And Absolutely. you have hustled to get to this point. I have to pat myself on my back because I did good, Yolanda. Yes, Yolanda. <laughs> And how are you feeling about your website? Oh, I like it. It looks so fresh and so clean, clean. I like how the flowers look alive. Uh, that's actually a real flower. <laughs> yeah. I love that because it is what it is and it's alive and, you know, with our fruits and vegetables popping out, I can see it. I love it. I love the nature. Yeah. Like so people can connect the dots, you know, to see that farm to skin. It looks like it's easy to navigate, and that's very yes. important. And that was our main point, was easy to navigate, user-friendly. So it has definitely solved that, for sure. I am so proud of you. This is a moment where you are just transcending. Like, that's the word I would use. Yeah, what I've learned in this journey is that what you put out in the universe is really what you get back. If you could tell something to the version of yourself back when you're still, you know, in corporate America and you're just beginning to think about, you know, I'm going to start this farm to skin spa. What would you tell yourself? Quit. <laughs> Turn your resignation in early. I waited too long. I still remember our conversation where she was getting emotional and talking about how there are young girls in the area of Atlanta that she is running her business in and she wants them to know that this is possible, like this can be a future for you. You know, it's important for me to facilitate this opportunity for other people in my community because it's not about me, it's bigger than me. It's bigger than me, it's, it's for all of us. Atlanta's at a crossroads right now. There's a reason Atlanta is home to over 25 Fortune 100 companies. This is where I will caution because of our accelerated growth in technology and in innovation, we're now moving into a new era where a lot of people, particularly minorities, are not being included. And where you have innovation density, you have increased poverty. And it's because if you don't bring along the poorest of those, which in Atlanta disproportionately are black, then those people become left out. And so if they're not exposed to opportunities or realities, they won't pursue them. How do you create something where the next generation looks to it and says, I see myself in that? 
Today, we are going into one of our first stores. Very excited about it, very charged, and we're just ready to get it in there. During these times of COVID, you know, it's been hard to, you know, stores to keep stock or, you know, get new things in. So for us to be our first new store and they want us is very humbling and uh, we'll be on some shelves very soon. Do you all feel like this is a major accomplishment? Yes. Yeah. Yes, good. So this is just store number one of many. Our goal is to go big, real big. Goal is to be all across America where Mookie Pops is a household name. Big box stores. And so this is just the beginning. Our hard work that we've been doing is paying off. And we now are starting to see and feel the fruits of our labor. Yes! You know, it was a little uncertain in the beginning of the pandemic, you know, but we were like, look, we still can do it, you know? People are still yes. buying yes. food, people yes. are still buying yes. treats. We are like, yes. we fit into this and we're gonna ride with it right now, so. I love your teamwork. I love how you guys are so supportive of each other, the vision, um, coming in through the training, the G-Men, taking what you needed, all the nuggets and the strength that you guys had already. That's what people need to see. This is how it's done. <laughs> ah, this thing right here, this supposed to be my teacher, y'all. You made the class so fun. And what I loved about you the most was that being a black woman, teaching those classes, you stayed yourself. Yes, ma'am. And you gave it to us. Yes, ma'am. And we learned something. Yes. So thank you for coming out today. You're welcome. Come on in here. This is the rainforest area. We have yoga, Reiki, Yoni steam, reflexology, body scrub, all of that's happening on the first floor. Then on the third floor, we're doing mental health behavior and then we have our manufacturer up there. Okay. So each subleaser gets to come in and decorate it and do what they want to do to it. So this is it. This is it. GoDaddy did a website for us. They, we saw it yesterday for the first time. Can I see that one? I'm excited on just starting a fresh, clean slate. And it's all a part of your do. launch. Yes. Your new beginning. Part of our launch. I'm excited. Yeah. I saw when you guys first came through Mm -hmm. and you know you have this um, vision of what you want to do and you feel like you're there. Yes. And then you have this aha moment of, wow, I could have been doing so much more. You think you know because you've been in business for so long, right? but you come to find out and you really don't know nothing. <laughs> and you really, you know, it's like, whoa. Right. But I'm so glad that I, I didn't panic, yep. that I didn't let fear stop me right and i'm like okay we're gonna get through this i don't know how i don't know when but we're gonna get through it right right and we did so. right the internet has really managed to circumvent some barriers to entry including first and foremost capital in many cases small businesses no longer need as high amounts of capital to create a business environment it's just easier for the customers and us Instead of having to say everything by word of mouth, they can just research us and be able to read our story and be able to access our deliveries. And it just has to be interesting, a lot of colors, a lot of nice, pretty fonts, update always. Until I met the Robinsons, I had never thought of this idea of bringing your kids along the journey of being entrepreneurs. We do know that fresh air and being outside is something that you don't have to be contagious or have to shy away from. You just got to do it in a responsible manner. So how are they making it socially distant? What's the setup like? We're curbside. The children are working the booth a couple feet from us right now. Coming to get a monkey pop? Okay. These are our flavors here. The great thing is since we're at a neighboring um, garden, they have kale plants set up beside our popsicles. So people can come and get a popsicle that is homegrown somewhere and they can get a plant. So making the connection is that, you know, the food that you're eating from the popsicle had to come from a garden somewhere. We did a pre-sale and they bought uh, 600 pops from us and we wanted to make sure that we got that to them before the close of 2020. Mm -hmm. um, so that we didn't have to carry that, you know, as a debt, you know, into 2021. I'm really impressed by the way that they're honoring their pre-COVID orders. Because if you don't have your integrity, like what do you got? Saying what we do, 
and doing it and following through with it. So I love that. I feel like, you know, uh, the pandemic came through and y'all are finding ways to navigate through that and to do it in a safe way and continue selling products. Do y'all feel, do you feel proud of your ability to do that, to make this yeah. all happen? Oh, definitely. You know, they have this resilience, you know, they're able to take these moments of catastrophe, a tree falling into your house, you know, a pandemic radically changing everything about your business model. They take these really catastrophic moments and they turn it into gold. They're alchemists. The Robinsons, I think the dynamic of them as a family, they are holistically the whole vision of what partnership, teamwork and family and community is really about. They were able to take that and push it to the next level. And you had a hand in it too, you know, you were a big part of it. It's very heartwarming. Um, it makes it all worth it. How did it feel to, to see Yolanda's new space? Did you check it out? Oh my God, to persevere the way she has and gotten through a pandemic and still do the shift. So to come here and to see the vision unfold from all of the people that she has already beginning to have space, which means she's opened up a door for other entrepreneurs. It's, it's, it's literally blown my mind. The UE Fresh Farm Oasis. We're excited to be here. Yeah. yeah. I'm super excited that you guys are a part of this movement because that's really what it is. It's a movement for us to be able to bring healing and wellness to the community. When she first got here, it looked nothing like it looks today. You couldn't even see what she was talking about, but she had the vision. It's a great example to so many that it can be done. We're at a point of history, we're resetting, you know, we're resetting society. Like right now we're focusing on racial equity in black communities, but we've got to deal with poverty everywhere, whether it's Adamsville or Appalachia. So if you are inspired and become passionate about solving a problem in your community, in your industry, in your ecosystem, by all means, I think you should take the first step towards becoming an entrepreneur. You should be able to wake up one morning and say, you know what, I want to start a business and I'm going to start it. Thank you guys for being a part of my dream come true. Thank you very much. Thank you. You know, for me, entrepreneurship is about creating your dream or your vision of how you want your life to look like and then getting out there and making your own way. That's what she did. She is now marching towards these large industries and saying, make space for me. When you're an entrepreneur, you never stop fighting. And that's exactly what Yolanda and the Robinsons did. They put in the work to pivot to delivery, to get their products on shelves, or to open up a new space safely. And the thing is, you don't have to do it alone. This work is all about having community. We have to remember that no one created their small business by themselves. I think the reason why there's a huge movement is because it's time. For me, I have seen so much support so much love from black people who are being very intentional on coming out and supporting my business. There's so many different forms of protest that are required to create change. And I believe that entrepreneurship is a form of protest. If everyone plays their part, entrepreneurialism would allow us all to experience the concept of the American dream and truly experience freedom inside of the American construct. Tune in for more seasons of Made in America where I cross this country and meet the people making moves against the status quo. And every story is so unique and nuanced and it's a reminder to us that we have to do everything we can to empower others because everyone deserves a right to make their own way.